Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we are going to be back in HMS Queen Elizabeth Tier 5 Tech Tree British Battleship. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun in this one. Now, um, yeah, so I am totally not playing this ship because of the uh, Queen's Pass or, any or anything like that. I <laughs> no, no, no. In all seriousness though, I thought why not play the Queen Elizabeth, because, you know, out of respect for the recent passing of Her Majesty. So, uh, I thought, why not? So here we are, back in the Queen Elizabeth. And I, you know, I love the Queen Elizabeth. This thing's a beast of a ship, man. And, uh, a little bit of history, uh, on the, uh, Queen Elizabeth. The Queen Elizabeth was named after, not Queen Elizabeth II, um, but it was named after Queen Elizabeth I, which was, um, she was the Queen during the, I think the 1500s? Um, and she, uh, she was, um, she was really the creator of the British Royal Navy. I mean, she, she basically built up a giant armada and sent it at Spain and destroyed, um, the Spanish fleet that was coming to invade England. So, really, Queen Elizabeth I, um, is quite a special person in British history, um, a very special monarch. And, um, yeah, all those a very long time ago, but she, um, she really was the, um, how do I put this, the curator of the British fleet that destroyed the Spanish fleet. So... I guess that's something, right? Anyhow, um, let's talk a little bit about the Queen Elizabeth in-game. So the Queen Elizabeth has, of course, these monstrous 15-inch, 381-millimeter um, British um, guns. And they are fantastic. And they are the same exact guns on the Warspite, in case you guys are not aware. HMS Warspite is the other Queen Elizabeth-class battleship. And she is obviously one of the most, if not the most, famous British warship um, to exist in the Royal Navy, at least she did exist, um, War Spite had so many freaking battle stars, um, and she had so many honors, she served in both World War One and World War Two. she was at Jutland, and she was even, um, in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, of course, yeah, War Spite, awesome boat, but today we're in the Queen Elizabeth, which is her sister ship, uh, it's actually the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class, and of course, like I was talking about, she's got those beautiful 15-inch guns, there's eight of them, two forward, two aft, um, at least there's two turrets forward, two turrets aft. There's actually four in the bow, four in the stern, um, four guns you can shoot off. And they are super firing, so they do, you can actually get them all off without having to show too much angle, but, eh, yeah. So the guns on this thing are amazing. 15-inch guns, they can overmatch pretty much almost everything at this tier. Now, um, the AA on this thing, AA, not the greatest, but it is there, but it's... Yeah, like I said, it's not the greatest. Don't depend on it to save your life. By the way, speaking of lives, uh, goodbye, Omaha. <laughs> yeah, don't go, don't go doing that, kids. Don't go doing that, kids. That's usually never going to work out for you. Um, so that's our first kill of the game. Devastating strike, 49k damage. But uh, yeah, going back to us talking about the AA. AA, not the greatest. Um, now, the secondaries on the Warspite, or on, on the Warspite and the Queen, are okay. But like, you know, don't depend on your secondaries ever, like... They're not going to do a whole lot for you, at least at this tier. They're not German or anything like that, so yeah, don't depend on them too much. Now, the speed and maneuverability, uh, it is okay, um, but it's nothing like super crazy. It doesn't go above 30 knots or anything like that, but you can you can go pretty fast around the map. And for a dreadnought, you know, this thing was a World War One era dreadnought, and also she was in World War Two. I mean, for, for, what, for what she is, she's a pretty fast boat, man. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah... Now, what else is there to talk about? The armor, ah, uh, yes. The armor on the, the Queen Elizabeth is, uh, alright. You got 19 millimeters, I believe, on the bow and stern, um, which means guns that are 15 inches or higher can overmatch you. I think they're not 19, I think they're 25 millimeter. I could be wrong, but I think 15s are the only thing that can overmatch you. So, Byron's, War Spites, Queen's, um, and, of course, West Virginia's and stuff like that can overmatch you. But if you angle your belt armor, you've got very good British belt, um, you can, uh, you can ricochet a majority of the shells that are sent at you. Now, uh, I think I covered most of the major points here. It's got great guns. It's got decent armor. It's pretty average for the tier, I would say. And the secondaries at AA, not the greatest. Don't depend on them. Really, what you should be depending on is these guns, man. These guns just smack like freaking trucks. And watch what we're about to do to that Texas. Oof. Yeah. Not even Citadel damage. That's just pure penetration damage. Oof. That is rough, man. 
That is freaking rough. <laughs> but that's how the queen do. It's rough, man. If you're on the receiving end of this thing, it's a rough time. That is for sure. Um, and, you know, the accuracy on the Queen Elizabeth and the War Spite are fantastic, too, not to mention. Um, usually, your guns are going to be very, very consistently accurate. And you know, you all know how I love my consistent battleships. If they ain't consistent, I'm not interested. And, uh, yeah, there's our second kill of the game on that enemy Texas. Cool people don't look at explosions. Now we've got an enemy, Andrea Doria, um, that's just chilling, and we're about to come around here and show him a good time. <laughs> wink, wink. Now, remember, we have 15-inch guns. We know we can overmatch this Andrea. Um, unless he angles his belt and I aim at his belt, which I'm not that dumb. So I'm going to aim right at his bow. I see he's not really paying attention to me, so I'm not going to angle when I come around. I'm going to shoot right at the tip of that bow, right there. Get some shells to land in there, and oh yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah. Bringing our damage up to 88,000, getting a high caliber. Now, that could have been better. We got some overpens, but I, it kind of makes sense because it's thinner there. There's some shells that might overpen in some places. But we'll take it nonetheless. Not too bad. Now, Andrea Doria looks like he's starting to turn his attention towards me. I mean, he should, and he, he would. I, I would hope he would. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're about to have another shot into his superstructure, and down he goes. But he gets a nasty hit in return. Smacking the crap out of us. But hey, we got him. That's a third kill of the game. 93,000 damage. Now, all we have to deal with is this enemy Acosta. Now, one thing I want to point out, too, I forgot to talk about at the beginning of the video is the superstructure on the Queen Elizabeth. HE will rip you up, and this Acosta is going to do just that. Um, I'm not going to get the dispersion to hit this guy, and it's going to be super freaking aggravating. Oh, it's going to be super aggravating. Now, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to... Switch over to HE here, and I'm going to try my best. Of course, he would get a fire. Good thing I had a DC, so I put out the fire and the flood that the torpedo caused me. And now we're going to hopefully deal with this guy a bit. I need to load HE and try to smack this guy, because look what this little Tier 4 British Destroyer is doing to me. He is absolutely crapping on me. For what he's for what he is in, I mean, that's pretty nasty. 281 damage per hit on my superstructure? Yeah, not fun. And I'm sure he's going to get a fire any second, because knowing his luck, right? So, that looks pretty decent, and, of course, we don't get shit. How do, how do I get two shatters, Wargaming? Where the fuck did that come from? Pardon my language, but holy shit. <laughs> like, how do I get two shatters off a destroyer with 15-inch British HE shells? Okay, not gonna question it, but, you know, whatever. So, we're burning now, of course, because the Acosta would get the RNG to get a fire on us. And a double fire, not to mention. Seems legit, right? You know, it's stupid that I have to turn away from an Acosta in a British battleship with HE loaded. It's pretty stupid, isn't it? But it is what it is, you know. Um, so I shoot out my guns here. And that's pretty good accuracy. The first shell, oh yeah. Second set, yep, hit him. Third set, missed. Fourth set, hit him. And knocked out a turret? Don't know. Anyway, yeah. So Acosta still burning me down. I mean, holy shit, man. This guy's getting the RNG of dreams right now on me. He got a double fire. He got a single fire the first time. Um, and then I DC'd it because there was a flood, and now he's got a double fire on me. Holy crap. And, uh, we're about to have another salvo out. And, uh, of course, my British shells are not wanting to be accurate this time. Oh, there's one hit. Oh, whoop de doo But, uh, that's it. So, he's, I think, gonna get away from me. Because we're about to win this game on points, luckily. And, uh, yeah. Nothing much we really could have done about this one, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I, I tried my best to hit this Acasta, but it just was not meant to be. <laughs> like, I fired almost four salvos at this Acasta. This is about to be my fourth salvo, and we're just not going to be able to hit him, man. Yeah. Like, nothing much I can do about it. But, um, nonetheless, I mean, hey, that was a pretty good game, though. 99,000 damage, three kills, two citadels, a cap. That's right, we got a cap in a battleship. We've got a devastating strike and a high caliber. Not too shabby, if you guys don't mind me saying so. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, you guys haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to go down there and do so. Hit that big red button, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys are, if you guys have tuned this far in and, and have forgot to hit that like button, please go do that as well. Hit the like button, it does help out more than you guys think. And, of course, both of those things are free. And it does help out the channel tremendously. And I cannot thank you guys enough for the support thus far and also thank you everybody for 1100 subscribers awesome <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome and you guys know that i know that and um anyways that's a battle ended folks i hope you all did enjoy this one it was a fun one for sure 
and hope you all have a great rest of your days. Have a good Monday, everybody. But yeah, look at that. Not too shabby. 2.7k base. We'll take it. But uh, yeah, so anyways, everybody, have a great rest of your days. Wherever you guys are at in the world, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.